I am currently outside of Camrose with a possibly dead injection pump. On today's episode of Broke Twisted Garage, my Jetta dies. And then we do a little investigating. Rob some parts off the old parts. White Jetta in the back. And then this happens. It's magical. Welcome to Broken Twisted Garage. What's happening, everybody? It's not a bad day out. It's pretty nice. So today, we got a buddy coming over and we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to tackle this thing. Look at the size of them icicles. Better be careful under there when I'm gonna kill a guy. Well, I guess I'll fire up the plow truck. How flat are the tires? On the scale of, oh, they're not bad. Sweet, I'll fire that up and move a little bit of the snow anyway. You know, someday I should do the fix the plenum gasket in this thing. I know that's what's wrong with it, but it's a job I don't get time for. I mean, it still does all the plow things, right? That's all that matters. Beauty. Over where the International used to be. This is some idiot that didn't record anything. Plowing. Flat in the cloud. Cleaned up the car. And my buddy showed up and he started tearing indoor. So what had ended up happening was the tensioner for the timing belt broke. Because it jumped his timing, obviously, when it quit. And uh, so now I decided to find out if it broke the back of the case where it locks into place or if just the spring broke in the tension or, or what happened. So we had to pull her apart to get her out. And unfortunately with these motors, you got to lower and lift it with the jack to get the bolts out for the mount. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So I didn't really record much, you know, we were kind of just both giving her. So in the end, what let me down was a part that was made in Canada. I was about to give it shit for being Chinese. <gasps> China. So I knew what I needed and what I didn't need. So off for the hunt for to my used parts store in the back. And uh, I just so happened to have another blown up TDI Jetta. This one, what happened? The uh, injection pump run away on it on the highway. I was so close to home, I just kept trying to make it, and then, bam, she exploded. Well, she was a good little Jetta. So I'm going to put it brand new used generic Volkswagen. So now all that was left was to retime the engine the white car. with the new tensioner pulley on there. And, uh, pray. <laughs> uh, pray that the valve train never hit the top, it hit a piston. But, uh, so yeah, once you get it top dead center, you want your first two, set, your first set of valves there to be just about flat, but pointing up a little bit. 
when it's top to the center and that burr that we had stuck in the end of it locks into place. Because yeah, that burr can be locked in and you can be 180 out. That's why you gotta check them. Number one valve, make sure you're top dead center there. So then while he was watching the timing mark on the crank through the inspection hole to line up the little notch, I was underneath moving, physically moving the crank. Back and forth, just ever so gently. And then once I had the crank in time, then I could go up to the injection pump and get it in time and lock it in with a drill bit. Also, and the cam, we'd already locked that in place. So then all there was left to do was tighten the tensioner back down and line it up with its points so that he had the proper tension on it. And then start tightening her all down, locking everything into place. Got everything torqued to spec. And then all the joys of her reassembly. So back down with the motor, back up with the motor, put the motor mount back in, reassemble. And again, sorry, I got horrible pictures, but. Oh, and fun fact, so I put the motor mount in and then realized when I tried to put this cover on that I had to put that in first. So then I had to take it out and do it all over again. It was great. Yeah. And then it was cross your fingers, moment of truth. Oh. Oh, yeah. I got very lucky that a valve never hit a piston. need a heater core. God damn it. It's pretty foggy in here. Man, she's foggy. Well, hopefully my my heater core isn't gone. Maybe it was just this guy. The cab filter is just soaked because I don't have the cowl on anymore. Looks like I'm going to have to put that back on. I couldn't smell coolant, but it was fogging up in the car. I'll have to change the power to get a cab filter, I think. I might have to actually change that window transmission. Sweet. Well, I'd say she was a success. Went to work and back, not a hiccup winner. It's like a 150k round trip. I didn't miss how gutless this thing was, but I definitely missed the fuel mileage. A buck fifty a liter for diesel. I'll take care of it gets 50 miles a gallon. And, uh, well, that's good. I'll be able to see if that heater core is leaking, but I don't think because the whole drive home it was pretty good. But I think the whole car is just fogging up, that's fine. But it is foggy, the truck's fogged up too. So, oh, 
Yeah. Cement. Yeah. I did wash the windows in it today too, so that's why a lot of them are. And I washed it right before I left work. So they didn't have time to air dry out. Well, that's fine. I'm still gonna call that a success. Put 130k on it. Since the fix, she's not missing a beat. I'm actually gonna let it warm up for a minute. Cause I want to know if that heater core is leaking. That'll tell me if this goes away. Cause if not, I'll, uh, I'll just drive the Dodge tomorrow. But I'm gonna call that a success. The old girl just purrs like a kitten. I'm amazed I never hurt that valve train. Well, I'm lucky I never hurt the valve train. So next is figuring out why that 12 valve cuts out when it warms up. But well, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, it was kind of uh, it was kind of weird. Like, I, yeah, I never really. We were just kind of giving her, so I never, I never had my phone with me. I didn't really record much. Big shout out to my buddy Phil there, give me a hand getting her together. He's not a big fan of being on camera. That's cool. Like, no worries about that, but greatly appreciate it. Get this thing back on the road. She was a bit of a mission. Some spots you couldn't really, you wouldn't be able to get away with one guy. Like, you can't turn that crank and watch the line. And, and uh, he's pretty smart with that stuff. So, thanks a lot, man. And uh, that's going to do it. Hope everybody's having a good night. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. But she's alive working anyway. Cheers. Maybe the next video will be a heater core. <laughs> but let's hope not. We'll let her thaw out and see. Well, what do you think, Charlie? Is it fixed? Do we fix it? Do we fix it? Oh, yeah. So that heater core is good. She's all cleared up already. Well, that's good. One last job I gotta do. Mint. Good old Jetta. Oh, and how I missed my heated seats. I missed my heated seats. And yeah, this green one day, I was driving down the road and it was like minus 40. And I touched it and it just went like that. <laughs> but luckily it's got Apple CarPlay, so I just plug in my phone to it. And I can just control the stereo off my phone. It still sounds fine. It does music things and the way she goes. Well, that's a success. It's only been running for maybe 10 minutes and it's already cleared the fog up. So it was just that wet uh... mint. How's the fire up when it's warm? They want to know. Put this off. Beautiful. She's mint. Well, it's good enough for me because this morning it was hard to even see where I was going. It was so foggy this morning in the car. Hey, you little savage. Are you just full of piss and vinegar? Hey, yeah, you rode all day yesterday and now you're just full of it. All right, let's go in the house. It's almost bedtime. All right, guys, that's going to do her. Cheers. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you in the next video.